It's great to be with you on this Friday. I trust you've had a good week. The Lord is so good. And I trust that no matter whether there have been difficulties or it's been a wonderful time that you have rejoiced in the Lord. Today, I'd like to look at chapter 8 of the book of Revelation. Uh, this book is so amazing as it's really the testimony of the Lord Jesus and what's going to happen um, after the church age concludes. We see about the church age in uh, chapters 1 to 3, but then chapter 4 on, the rapture on uh, through the tribulation and then into the kingdom, we, we get a full understanding of what is happening in the future. That's a comfort, by the way. Uh, to know that we have the final chapters and we know all the way to the eternal state. The Bible gives us from creation to the eternal state, everything we need to know. Well, here in Revelation, the judgments are beginning to happen in the final three and a half years. And there are the seven seal judgments that start off first. And uh, many people die during this time. And we read in verse one of chapter eight, and when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of an half an hour. Uh, here we have God opening that seventh seal. And that judgment was going to open up the, uh, the great trumpet judgments that were going to be far worse than the seal judgments. Now, I don't have the time to get into this. But what was going to happen was of such a magnitude that a whole half an hour, nobody made a noise in heaven. If you've ever stopped and had a moment of silence, two minutes seems like forever. Can you imagine here at this serious time when the earth is being shaken by God's judgment? And many martyrs have already come and they're by the throne. When this seal is opened, for there to be one half hour of silence. What that tells us, friends, even though we feel like we're overcome right now by humanism and ungodly people and certainly the moral revolution and all the things that are happening are so discouraging. And it seems like uh, Bible Christianity is just pushed into a corner. When God does something, the heaven is moved. When God lets his wrath come upon mankind, the whole earth is shaken. In a moment, the whole heavens and earth we find after the millennium will be absolutely burned up and destroyed. That's the power of our God. Whenever you feel small, and we all are, and whenever you feel overwhelmed, remember who your God is. This is just an indication of how, how horrific it's going to be in that final time called Jacob's trouble, the last half of the tribulation, as one after another judgment comes upon this earth, and yet this earth will not turn to God. Now, many people will, and we thank the Lord for that. God is merciful. But this will bring Israel to a place to turn to their Messiah. But God's power is amazing. If it wasn't for his long suffering, even during this time, the world would be destroyed. But that's your God. That's the God that indwells you if you're a Christian. That's the God that saved you. That's the God who gave you the word of God. That's the one who meets with you in your local church meetings. The God that will do what is said to be done here in the book of Revelation. So don't be overwhelmed. Whenever you have a tendency to do that, Meditate on the Word of God. Think of the greatness of your God and how much He loves us and how much He loves the world and yet how powerful He is. And my friends, we need to realize that we're not helpless and we're not alone. We serve the great and living God.